our first day of school today. So I'm just using my digital planner, which by the way, I have recently started getting into digital planning versus paper. And let me tell you something, my life has changed. I am obsessed with my digital planner. I actually purchased a homeschool planner on Etsy and I love it. I love it so much. So anyways, I'm kind of overviewing what I planned out for our group stuff, things that I'm going to be teaching uh, the boys today and reviewing. And yeah, just kind of working out our block for school today. We are starting both boys in high school, so it's gonna be a little bit different this year. Not too different from last year, but a little bit different this year in the sense that they are very independent in their schoolwork. So I am almost more of a moderator at this point, which is kind of bittersweet. I really enjoy learning with the boys. I still am going to be. Anyway, so I am taking a look at my day today and our block and just kind of getting everything ready. Let's see if you can see this. So this is my block schedule that I actually went over during my um, live Zoom talk that I offered yesterday. But this is just kind of a look at our block schedule. So this is my school block that I have um, when I'm actively with the boys. And so what I'm looking at now, let's go to September. Um, all right, so this is our week this week and what I'm looking at working on right now. I am really excited about using, I bought this book a few years ago and just gave it to the boys thinking that they would be obsessed with it and love it so much. And you know, it just didn't happen that way. It <laughs> stayed on the bookshelf for about three years. So I'm making it an elective for us because it is filled with um, so many just random things that boys would generally love and want to know about. Um, so I have went through and bookmarked, like we're gonna learn about knots, um, spies, codes, and ciphers. Um, today specifically, what do I have for today? First aid. So I want to say that's uh, back here. There's like famous wars. Here we go. First aid. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about uh, about that. But there's so many great fun things. So I will link this in the description below because um, it is it is so great. I'm super excited to be using this. That people have ever built. As an example of that maintenance. Two astronauts, one from Europe and one from Japan, took a walk outside the ISS on Sunday. Both have completed several spacewalks before. Their mission this time around was to set up support equipment for a new solar power unit, which will be installed on a future space trip. If you've ever wondered what it's like to work outside,
country into 32 provinces. But soon Ireland took the northern six, and the situation between the countries is looking <laughs> uncool. <laughs> what are I we learning know. about? Nothing important. <laughs> <laughs> Epic lore. Is it just like memorization? Yeah, I'm trying to think if it would be better to do it like flashcards or just to read it over and over again. Mm. Good question. I probably prefer flashcards, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. So that Good. does require two people. So I think I like the other way better. <laughs> Totally kidding, kind of. But if you want to come up with something, well, maybe that's not a good idea. <laughs> okay, we're on your two? Yes. Do you want me to go in order this time or kind of out of order? Uh, go like out of order. Okay. I'm gonna need one of those bananas though. Did you put one on the top? Right. Mort. Death. <laughs> Port. Um, uh, like accessible. To carry. To carry. Aqua. Water. Scent. A hundred. Mm -hmm. Um, mater or pater. Uh, oh, like family, parents. Mother or father. Bean. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be Bene. That's what I meant. <laughs> Bene. <laughs> Bean. Beans. <laughs> now that I read the examples, Bene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Bene. She said Bean. <laughs> like benevolent? <A> Bene? <laughs> I don't remember. Like, good. Um, good. Pretty sure Bene. Been in. Got it. Now they're gonna kill the geography. Oh wait, is that that funny cone man? Is it is it the one that the funny cone man? This is in Europe. Oh, I thought that was it. I thought like <laughs> look, look. Do you not see the outline? It's like, right Italy, next to Italy, Britain. dude. Asia is right next to Italy, dog. Okay. <laughs> so what's C? Well, it's in the Bolsheviks, right? It is. What's C? Come on, you got this. Well, that's, that's Poland. That's... What time period is this? That's Poland. This is modern. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's Poland. Yes. Okay. But that's not C. <laughs> <laughs> Belgium? Okay, tell me what you guys initially think about um, the American government stuff. Well, I think that the... Uh, American government thing is a. Uh, I really like it. It's very uh, intriguing and honestly fun to listen to. Yeah. Um. I do. I am slightly inclined to like history more than others, <laughs> but I've never really enjoyed like learning history in school more on my own. Yeah. And that is honestly really fun to just watch and read about. Cool. I think it uh it did a great job. Yeah. Nice. That's good to hear. What do you think? Uh, I thought that the uh, the government teaching in the uh, the school, uh, what we did, it was very um, very like Brooke said, it's very intriguing, and even the, the videos, like you said, they're fun to watch. They're you know they get you interested, and I felt like I was getting a little hooked in a little. Of course, when it came to reading, I didn't want to do any of that, <laughs> but I still did it. Yeah. But that's just me. I just don't like reading at all, but. I would definitely say it was very, uh, very good. Yeah. Okay. So we did today, we did language arts, we did math, science, what else? Um, the government. I think that's it. Okay. So of all those, which one, which one did you maybe enjoy the most or maybe were surprised that it was a little bit better than you thought it would be? Was there any? Um, well, I definitely thought American government was a lot better than I expected. Because um, I remember learning about American government in, um, I think it was seventh grade. Uh -huh. um, when I went to private school. 
and it was super boring once we got to like the American, like so uh, American Revolution part. Yeah. But yeah, like I said already, they did a great job. I did also really like math. I didn't expect to like the uh, the way that they taught. Mm -hmm. But honestly, I think I liked it more than like the uh, the method of like a smaller classroom that I'm used to. Oh, that's good to know. What is it? Did you like the lecture part of it? Is that what you liked? I or? think I did, yeah. Okay. Cool. And so we're using Dive Math, Shorman yes. Math this year. Okay. Awesome. What about you? Was there something out of all the subjects that um, you were kind of surprised that you yeah. like a little bit more? I was very impressed with, um, like like I said, um, I'm very, I was very impressed with government mm -hmm. and... Um, and I, I, I definitely look forward to uh, learning more about the history. So we are finishing up our first day of school. Um, for the most part, it went pretty well, I feel like. It took a lot longer than uh, a normal day would, which is totally expected. The first week is usually like, just takes a while. Um, getting into the routine of everything again and uh, figuring out, you know, how like the best workflow for how we want to attack everything we did however st do like an intro on last friday which is really funny because i always kind of laughed at why the schools would go back to school on like a thursday or friday and not really start until monday and now i'm like it makes complete sense to me so we kind of did like be uh, it was super helpful because so many of their courses are are online this year and a lot of like the beginning of the course was intros and um, videos with the intro just explaining about the course and how to complete lessons and such like that. So we used Friday to go over all of those videos intro courses and feel you know get logged into the websites bookmark the tabs like all the things so that today would go as seamless as it possibly could and i do feel like it was super helpful like we weren't spending a lot of time trying to figure out what needs to be printed what needs to be um, what links need to be saved what books we need to have like all of that was already figured out last week so today they were able to just jump right into the first lesson for the most part and it went pretty smoothly so i'm pretty happy with it um like i said it went a little bit longer we did start a little bit later we started closer to like 10 15 10 20 and that's pretty late um a later start than what i would like to do so i definitely know on day two of school we'll start a little bit earlier I do feel like I can condense our group time a little bit more so that they have more time doing their independent subjects, which is the majority of what they're doing this year. Uh, like I said earlier, they are pretty independent learners now, both being in high school. So I'm just kind of here to moderate, make sure that they're staying on task, make sure that um, I'm here if they have any questions. But typically they don't have too much left to do after lunch. Um, and, and this year it's a little bit different. <laughs> the workload is a little heavier. So I think, I think maybe just, you know, we're all gonna get used to a little bit more work, but overall it was a success. I think that they're enjoying their courses and I'm looking forward to the rest of uh, the year. Okay, I just got back from the gym and I wanted to show you a really quick, easy go-to dinner that is a healthier option if you're looking for that for your family. So what I'm gonna show you feeds our family of four pretty well. You could totally just double it and feed more mouths if you need to. So I've got three ingredients. Chicken sausage, which this I just, I think I bought from Target. I'm sorry, I don't have the brand on hand because we brought this on our camping trip recently and it was in the cooler and the paper got all wet and nasty so I took it off. Um, so chicken sausage, Brussels sprouts. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. Honestly, that's really my favorite way of eating Brussels sprouts. I was going to say the only way, but I'll eat them other ways. Um, you could totally sub out the Brussels sprouts for 
broccoli, bell peppers, whatever kind of vegetables you prefer, and then a bag of rainbow potatoes. Um, again, you could switch this out also for sweet potatoes, white potatoes, whatever you want, but three ingredients, that is it. I'm gonna show you how I put it together. We're gonna stick it in the oven. It is so quick and easy and so good. Okay, so what I did next was I just chopped everything up. Um, so the Brussels sprouts, I quartered a little bit. They're actually kind of big. They were already halved, but I quartered them. <laughs> Losing sausage. <laughs> I quartered the Brussels sprouts and I cut the sausage into like bite size. Um, I took the rainbow potatoes and just cut those in half. And then I did actually have a red bell pepper that I was not going to eat and just cut it up into bite-sized pieces also. So my sausage, Brussels sprouts, potatoes, and now my red pepper is all cut up. So now that everything is chopped up and ready to go, I am going to take everything, spread it evenly over or onto a, a nonstick baking sheet put a little bit of salt and pepper on it and I'm gonna bake it for about 18 minutes at 425. While that mix is in the oven, I'm going to mix the final three ingredients that I will brush over that mix when I take it out and then I'll pop it back in the oven for just a couple or a few more minutes. So the first one is maple syrup. Normally I try to get the sugar-free maple syrup that I can find at um, Kroger, one of our local grocery stores. I don't have it right now and I did not grab it the last time I was at the store. So unfortunately we're having just all the sugars today, <laughs> but that's okay, that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna do four tablespoons of maple syrup, shoot for the sugar-free, and then two tablespoons of soy sauce, and two tablespoons of German mustard. Now I have forgotten to get German mustard before and I had like um, Dijon mustard, which honestly, I really don't know what the difference is, but that one was just fine too. So, you know, if I don't have one ingredient, I'll typically try to sub it for whatever I have in the pantry. So adapt as needed. <laughs> All right, just pulled out the mix. So now I'm going to brush this mix on top of it and stick it back in the oven for about four to five minutes and we'll be ready to go. I just pulled it out and oh it looks so good man I wish that you could smell it so yum and so easy if you wanted to go even faster you could pre-cut all of your food items earlier that day or even the day before throw it in a Ziploc bag or a glass container, put it in the refrigerator and have it ready to go. But even without any prep, you guys, like this is so quick and easy and everybody loves it. This is a recipe I made for a nutrition challenge that we were doing at the gym. Pretty much everyone that's tried it has said that their whole family loves it. So really simple, easy, relatively healthy. You're getting your protein, vegetable, uh, starch, and some fats with it. So it's a win. Um, if you try it out, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about it. So 
It's, it's a video though. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs>